What is going on, folk, and welcome back to my mobile gaming quest where I document playing a brand new mobile game every single day. And today, guys, we are going to check out Westland, which is a Western cowboy reskinned version of the zombie survival game Last Day on Earth Survival. So, yes, if this UI looks familiar, it's probably because you've played Last Day on Earth. The developers working on Westland, uh, the way they did this was that they actually bought the rights for the game source code from the original developers of the Last Day on Earth game, and then they're currently adding, for example, online multiplayer. Yes, I know, guys. Many of you guys who've played Last Day on Earth have been requesting multiplayer, and it is finally coming, and it looks like it's coming both to Westland and to Last Day on Earth Survival. So it's not in here right now, but it should be coming later this year already, according to one of the developers who reached out to me on Reddit, by the way. That's how I came to know about this game, which is so far still pretty unknown so it really just comes down to do you like the western theme more than you like the uh, traditional zombie survival art style of the uh, original last day on earth survival game this one still has zombies in it though so i'm not really sure i mean it's it's really just that the weapons we get are more western themed i guess such as for example a revolver and our equipment of course as well i can go in and show you guys that if we kill the zombie here yes in here as you guys can see it has this western theme with for example the hat up here um, so yeah, I'm really liking it. It's been a while since I've played Last Day on Earth Survival. So, I mean, there are some updates here that I haven't seen yet, even though they have probably made it to Last Day on Earth Survival a long time ago. And one of those is that we have stat points that we can now attach to our character. So for example, I can upgrade some of the... What do we even want to upgrade? I guess we can upgrade the attack speed a little bit. Yes, so we're gonna spend one of our attack points on that. We're actually gonna spend all three of them on that because I think that's gonna make the biggest difference. What did we get here? Did we get something good? We got some corn, which is nice because we can then eat that to recover some HP. What do we wanna get here though? I think we're, we're probably just looking for some, let's see, what sort of resources do we need? We're probably looking for some wood and we're looking for some stone. Oh, we, we need an ax, right? Okay, so let's go in here and actually craft an ax. We can do that over here. So let's have a look. Yes, we have enough now to craft the axe, and now we can collect some more wood. In the beginning of these types of games here, you always just have to collect a lot of resources. And I'm gonna go back to our main base as soon as we're done here in this area of the world. And then I can show you guys sort of our base, sort of our little setup we have going on over there. And uh, what and why, what and why I'm collecting these resources. So what type of resources I'm collecting and why I'm collecting them. There's an opponent there. Let's have a look. He is dealing 5 damage. We deal 14 though, so we should be able to take him out before dying. But we only have 25. Wait, guys. I'm not gonna die. I'm really not gonna die here. Okay, let's have a look. How do we do this? I guess we just have to run away. I'll be really quick at going in here and actually using uh, something that can recover HP. So let's do it real quick, guys. Use, 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 use. Okay, yes. And now let's take him out. There we go. That is how you do it. I really miss a feature that does so that we can actually have some of our uh, some of our corn on us. So we can use it through a hotspot. Oh, we can actually do that. Wait a sec. We can do that by doing like this, I think. Yes, there we go. That's much, much better. This is the setup we need when we're out scavenging these areas here and trying to, to collect resources. There's another zombie. I'm not really interested in you. Uh, get away. Okay, I guess we're going to take him out. We definitely need a better weapon, by the way. We really do. Let's go back to our main base and let's see if we can craft that once I've just collected a few more resources here in this area of the world. So let's look. We get three pine locks for each and every one tree we cut down. Let's just see if we can find some more trees without finding too many. Oh man, there's a chest down here. We definitely need that one. We definitely need that one. Okay, let's take out this guy. Let's take the chest. Let's cut down a few more woods and then, then let's just get out of here. Let's see what did he have on him. Nothing really too spectacular. Let's have a look what's in this chest here. Let's hope it's something really awesome. Let's have a look. Mm, no, I'm not really sure what this even is. It doesn't tell us the name, but I think it's something we're gonna need later on to craft some different types of machinery in our, in our home base. But at this point, we're still just crafting stuff with wood and stone, so we need a uh, we need a lot of that, honestly. But apart from apart from the Western theme, this is literally Last Day on Earth Survival. So if you guys have played this game uh, or that game already, you will already know all about these systems. And in particular, you will know all about the system I'm going to show you guys right now, which is the traveling energy system. And I really don't like that system because it means that we either have to wait a long time to travel between these areas or we have to spend some of the energy, which of course is free, but it takes a long time to recover energy. So let me show you guys what I mean. So let's say we want to go back to our home base now. We can do that by either walking, it's going to take 13 minutes, or we can also just run, which is going to spend 18 of the energy. 
So 18 energy isn't too much because we recover a new energy every five minutes, but imagine you had to walk all the way over there, or how about over here even, or maybe even all the way over there, right? That would take a lot of time or cost a lot of energy, and that means that you are pretty limited to what you can do in one play session before you have to sit down and wait or spend some real life money to get more energy. That's a part of this game I really don't like, but apart from that, it's a really solid survival game, and I, I really enjoyed Last Day on Earth Survival as well, so I think I'm definitely gonna enjoy uh, this Western-themed version here also. Let's see, guys. We have... Yes, we can empty some of our some of our inventory here, because we have some of these items already stored in one of the boxes over here, so let's do that. Uh, what else, what else, what else? The cloth up here, and these, whatever those are, looks like rings. And some of the rope, yes. And the watch. And that's about it. Alright, so we can go over here to the other one. And we can just... I'm just gonna uh, put all of that in there. Okay, cool. So now let's look at what we gotta do. Let's look. Can we craft something new? We really can't craft a better weapon right now. We get the torch down here, which should deal more damage than this one up here. It deals one more damage and has a higher attack speed, so it's definitely gonna be better. I do wanna get down to this one though, the wooden spear, 22 in damage and 71 in attack speed. Definitely much better, but we need to be level six to buy that one, so we can't do that just yet. So I guess what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna go out here, we're gonna have a look at our crops. I inserted some of these uh, corn over here and we get some, um, get some corn out as well. So let's take these out right now. Let's go down here to the fireplace well, I also have some meat cooking, and we need some more woods to cook some more meat, so let's insert that, and let's take out the meat. So we have some way to actually survive in this game. We're also running low on water, it seems. Let's use some water from one of these jars here. Yes, awesome. So now we should be full again. Our hat is just about to lose the rest of its energy, though, so we gotta be able to craft a new one somewhat soon. I'm not sure how exactly we're gonna do that, but I think for now we just gotta level up, so we just gotta go out there again, and we will probably go to somewhere where we can hopefully find something to heal HP. So, what could that be? That could, for example, be berries, or it could also be going out there and killing some monsters, some buffaloes, maybe. So let's go down here to the buffalo area, or what? Yes, let's go down there, yes, let's run and spend some more of the energy and now we're down to 64 energy. Meanwhile, let's just go in here and have a look at the premium currency and the inner purchases in this game. So we got a mystery gambler's box that we can get uh, by watching an ad every single day. So that's cool, of course, and a way to get some something for free. But then we can also pay to get more locks, we can pay to get more stone, we can pay to get different types of weapon, transportation, even, what is this? Boosts, yeah, XP boosts, and then, of course, just money overall. And then we have some storage in here, which is stuff we got for free, and that's, of course, nice. But there is a lot of in-app purchases, and the monetization is a bit on the heavy side, but I still enjoyed Last Day on Earth, even with all of that in here. Playing as a free user, I still enjoyed it. So I think I'm still gonna enjoy this game as well, at least for, uh, for a while. But what do you guys think about that? Did you enjoy playing Last Day on Earth Survival, or what did you think about, what did you think about that game? I feel like the game is very grindy, though, so if you don't like grindy games, maybe just skip this one. But I mean, most survival games are kind of grindy. We only need one more level, though, to be able to actually craft whatever it was we wanted. The torch down here, yes, level six. Right, so that's not too bad. I guess we could try to go into combat, uh, but it, before I want to do that, I just want to take the corn over here and I want to eat this piece of meat here, which should probably... Oh, wait, I forgot we already got full HP because we uh, because we just leveled up. That's, of course, the, uh, the easiest way to get full HP again is just to level up. We got some meat. That's awesome because then we can make more food. But I want to go out here and actually kill some of these buffaloes. I think that's going to give us a good chunk of experience points. Let's see. We got 25 for killing one of those, um, one of the wolves. Let's have a look at what we get from killing a buffalo. I think we're going to get more than that. They have more HP, so they should be... I mean, th theoretically, they're more difficult to kill and more difficult to survive because now there are two of them attacking us. What is up with this herd mentality here? Stop it, guys. <laughs> Stop it! Alright, I guess we're just gonna take it out though. Uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna survive because we deal 14 damage, so we deal way more damage, so we take down his HP faster than uh, it's taking down ours. Let's see what did we get from our efforts here. We only got two meat, is that it? And then some of the skin? Hmm, not really worth it, I think. Honestly? Oh wait, opening this one might actually be worth it though. But I think honestly, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't wanna die, I don't wanna die, I don't wanna die. Guys, let's survive this. What I was about to say was, I think, honestly, it's not worth it. It's probably worth it to just, in the beginning, go out and collect some of the resources, collect some more wood, instead of going into battle here. Because look at this. These two guys, they just won't let me be alone now. Oh, I guess we have to take them out. And a wolf as well. Guys, I don't think we can do this. <laughs> Abandoned! <laughs> Abandoned ship! 
Ah, all right. This is where we needed a horse, by the way. It's the West after all, right? We, why don't we have a horse? But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I think we're gonna sort of summarize it up here and end it off here because you already, you've gotten a good idea, hopefully, of how the game plays. I've left the download links, as I always do, down in the description box down below. And let's actually go over to this event here. That seems interesting. So you can go check it out for yourselves. Please leave a comment down in the description box, down in the comment section, of course, down below, letting me know whether or not you play Lost Day on Earth or whether or not you're looking forward to playing this Westland game here. And now for the fact of the day, because this is a really awesome one. In 1997, okay, Nokia launched a new phone which had the Snake game on it. It was so successful that it is now installed on 400 million devices worldwide. And it actually still ships with, uh, with Lumia smartphones, if you can still get those. I'm not sure you can anymore, but you could a few years ago. I mean, that's the original. For me, that's the original smartphone game, or mobile game, sorry. That's definitely Snake. And I think for a lot of you guys as well, if you have some fond memories of Snake, let me know about those down in the description box. I keep saying description box in the comment section down below. Would you look at all this loot here, guys? I'm so glad we didn't end off the video before we got a chance to show you guys this. Oh my, there's a lot here. Wow, I can't even have, I can't even take everything with us because we, oh shoo. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna go for what I believe to be the most rare stuff. There's so much stuff over here. That's a nice event. That's what I call a nice event. Oh my, so guys, what what am I gonna do here? I mean, am I just gonna, I guess I'm just gonna, gonna take what I believe to be the most rare ones. So probably this, probably this. What about this one? I'm not sure. Guys, what do I do? I guess we'll leave the meat here because the, leaf is, the meat is pretty easy to get by. I really want to find a weapon though. Let's hope for something really awesome here. This is so epic. This is a little treat for you guys, for those of you guys who stuck around till the end. Oh, there's a revolver! There's a revolver, that's what we need, guys. And some new boots. Do we even have boots on us right now? I don't think we have. No, we don't. Okay, so let's equip this weapon here instead of this one and let's drop this one here. Guys, and now we can go in and we can actually take the boots and take those, equip those as well. So let's equip those straight away. Oh, that's nice. We can do that from in here, actually. Let's take this. Let's take this. Let's take... Wait. Oh, we can't take any more. Okay. <laughs> this is awesome, though. I really hope that you guys will find these events as well. I have a pretty good idea about, uh, about them, and they're probably scripted. So I think every one of you will see the exact same thing as I'm seeing right now once you get into the game. But still, I hope, I mean, if, if I'm not correct, I hope that it will happen to you guys. But guys, there's lots of stuff here, but we're gonna end off the video here. Thank you so much for sticking around till the end of this video. I hope you liked it. Be sure to leave a like if you did. Be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. And until next time, just keep gaming, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys around.